Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make a little pinwheel to use as a focal point for your cards. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have five different card layouts that I wanna share, which feature this fun little pinwheel design. Now it's a very simple design and it's a great way to use up scrap pieces of cardstock or designer paper. Now the cards in this video feature some sentiments from the Country Flowers stamp set from Stampin' Up. Now keep in mind you can use any greetings, any stamp set that you have on hand with this pinwheel card design. The cards also feature the brand new In Color collection. This is just a fabulous collection of colors. And if you want to get your hands on these colors, you might want to check out my In Color Card Making Club. You can find the link in the description below this video. However, I also know that there is a fabulous sign on special coming up in the month of May 2024. And you can also get all of these in colors and a variety of different in color products for free when you join Stampin' Up. So I've also linked to that in the description with this video. Okay, so this is the pinwheel design that I'm going to walk you through. I'll just take you step by step on how to create this. It's very simple. It might look complicated, but it's a great way to use paper piecing to create a fun little focal point for your cards. So to create the pinwheel design, you need a couple different pieces of cardstock and pattern paper. So for this particular design, I'm using Summer Splash. So that's one of the new in colors. So I have some of the designer paper and then two pieces of cardstock. So the cardstock pieces are cut at two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And then I have eight pieces of designer paper and each of these pieces are cut by one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So since there's four different designs in this particular paper pack, I decided to use two of each, but you can just mix and match all different patterns and cardstock colors if you wanted to when you create your pinwheel. So the first thing we need to do is we need to adhere these two pieces of cardstock together. And so we need to adhere one on an angle like this and one straight. So they will be adhered in this fashion. So the tricky part to this is trying to make sure that you line up these two pieces when you adhere them. So I created just a little template on a piece of grid paper. So I started out by just laying my first cardstock piece here and just tracing around it. And I lined up the points on the cardstock with the points on my grid paper. And then I took this other piece and laid it on top and I just went around and uh, created, you know, this little template. So I have an equal number of squares in between each of these points. So it's really easy to just create a little template that will just kind of help you keep everything aligned. So what I'm going to do is just add some glue to the back of this piece. So I'm just gonna line up the cardstock right on my template, which is on this grid paper. And then I'm gonna lay this one over the top so that it goes right on those lines that I drew to create that template. And then you have your little pinwheel design and we can start adhering the designer paper. So now we are ready to adhere our designer paper. So I just kind of laid everything out. I'm gonna go just kind of in a row and alternate the different pieces of pattern paper. So we'll start with this one. And I basically just want to add some glue to one side of this very first piece. And this piece is going to go up in the corner here. I'm just going to add it so that there's a little bit of matting uh, showing around this piece so that you can see this cardstock behind the piece here. But I want to leave this open because we're going to go all the way around and we're going to adhere these pieces in each of these corners and when we get to the end we're going to tuck the last piece under here so this first piece i just want to make sure that i leave that open so now we could just go ahead and add these other pieces and we're just going to go in each corner so you want to make sure you line up the points here and the points here
All right, so now that we have all of these adhered, this last piece is gonna get tucked right underneath that first piece, and we're gonna adhere it in this last corner. So we can add glue to the whole piece, and then we can just tuck it under, kind of slide it under, and get it in that corner. And then we can adhere this last piece. We can just add a little bit of glue behind here and adhere this last piece down. So that's basically the pinwheel design. Okay, so now we are ready to create our card. So I just have a piece of Summer Splash cardstock for the base of my card. Next, I cut a four by four inch piece of white cardstock and I just embossed it with the Distress Tile embossing folder. You can use any embossing folder that you have on hand. The next thing I did is just cut a one and an eighth by four inch piece of white cardstock, just stamped a little greeting on it. And I'm going to add this to the bottom of the card. And now we can go ahead and add our pinwheel design. So you can add it in this direction, straight like this, or you can turn it a little bit and add it this direction. It gives you a totally different look. So if you go point to point versus having, you know, this little V up here, just slightly turning it gives you a completely different look. So I'm gonna adhere this one in this direction. And I just popped it up with a couple dimensionals. And then I just used one of the little paper butterflies and just added that to the center. You can add any little focal point to the center of the card that you would like to. And then for the finishing touch, I'm just gonna add a couple of in-color gems just to the bottom here of this card. So that is the basic design. And I'm gonna bring back the other cards so that you can see how different the designs look. So this one I adhered point to point, and this one I just turned it slightly so that the point was kind of off to the side, and you get a completely different look for your card. So there are so many different ways that you can use this design in your card making. So this is just one way. And then here's just another design that I created just with an embossed background. And then here is the Petunia Pop. So I just created a different background for the card, but creating the pinwheel is exactly the same as what I showed you. And then here is the Shy Shamrock and the Pretty in Pink. So I have five different card layouts. They all feature the pinwheel design and each one is just decorated just a little bit different. So the purpose of this video was really just to show you how to create the pinwheel design. If you would like instructions for how to create the backgrounds for all five of these cards, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Okay, so there you go. Now you know how to create this pinwheel design. And if you download the printable tutorial, you'll have five different card layouts to use it with. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.